Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to just bring you a new style pocket um, and do a tutorial. This is the pocket here that we're going to make. So if you're following along with the tutorial, all you're going to need is um, your scissors, some glue and an A4 sheet of paper. So obviously, you know, if you are using, say, sheet music or whatever, you know, you're just going to need to trim it down to A4 size. Um, you know is is what I would suggest so let's get started I'm going to pop this one to one side and um, we'll just get cracking straight away on the tutorial so take your A4 sheet of paper then turn it over you want to be folding it at the top first so turn it over I like to fold it in half so as I know where the middle is but not fold it, if you see what I mean. So I just want to pinch the top, just so as I know where the middle line is. Then all I'm going to do is take one side in, like that, then the other side, <clears throat> exactly the same, like that. And it doesn't matter, you know, if these are not quite perfect, it doesn't matter if they're not quite level, you know, it's all fine. So that's all you're doing there. Then all you're going to actually do is fold up your bottom piece like this. So a bit like, you know, when you were a child and you made those um, paper boats, it's going to have that kind of effect, the boats or the hats or, you know, things like that that you used to make as a child. So that's the effect that you're going to kind of have there. Then you're going to just take it around. So you've now got, you know, the back without the folded flap towards you. And then you're just going to bring across to, I don't know how to describe this, but probably leaving nearly an inch here running down so then press this down like that okay so this is your pocket there so now what you've got obviously are your flaps here on the back this here and this bit here so all you're going to want to do is kind of open it back out again I like to then just glue this down now I don't know really how essential this is but, you know, for me, this just makes it easier to work with. So I'm just going to glue that one down. And then this one down. It doesn't have to be glued fully down or anything. You know, you're just kind of securing it so it's not flapping around, really. So that's those two bits. Then fold your flap back up. Fold it back round and back round to the front. Squash it down there. And then all you're going to do is take it back over to the rear side, fold your top piece down so that you've got, you know, a neat squared off piece at the top. And then exactly the same here at the side. And it's up to you how long you want that. And again, how tall you want it. Um, you know, I don't measure, so I just do it by eye. But for me, that looks, you know, quite good dimensions how it is there. So then, so as you've just got less bulk, I'm just going to take this bottom flap, the one that's on the inside, not the one that's wrapping round, and just cut that out. And then I'm just going to glue this piece down here. So just get your glue I just use a wet glue for this and again I'm just going to glue this flap down at the back Oops. didn't want to do that I don't know why I did that <laughs> so just glue that flap down at the back and we're just going to glue this flap down at the top like that And then all you want to do now is just run a piece of glue or you know a line of glue here along the bottom to glue your piece shut along the bottom 
obviously you could have glued it down you know before you folded it over I mean I just you know have found for some reason that's just how I've ended up doing it is folding it or you know gluing it after it's folded in so that's literally all there is to your pocket piece so you've now got your pocket here your pocket here and then let me just grab in a um, blank page I haven't got a journal on the go unfortunately to um, show you but if you just bear with me oh, gosh. for a few moments I thought it was going to be quicker than this but I'll find the piece <laughs> so I'll just bring this um, this A4 you know some coffee dyed A4 paper just to show you I would then use this in this kind of way so I would glue it probably on two sides onto a page like that so then you'd have pocket here pocket here and a pocket there at the back so you've got like a three place pocket the only um, warning that I would kind of say is obviously this front flap is quite delicate because that's just a single piece of paper so if I just show you what I've done here so this is obviously the same pocket but I've just decorated it up I've just so, uh, stuck some lace trim across there I mean obviously as you can see I've decorated it up I've popped some doily on the front and things but I've just stuck some lace across the top which is just reinforcing that slightly um, you know and so that's kind of a way to to just reinforce that really so I'm going to pop these to one side and we'll just run through making that again just so that you know if you're following along hopefully you know you've watched through once and now you can you know maybe make make one yourself so again I've got my A4 sheet of paper so I just take it fold it inwards i.e you know so the pattern is on the outside I do that just at the top only so that I can then just see my halfway line fold in my triangle here and then again I'm just going to fold in my triangle here as I say you know these don't have to be perfect they don't have to be exactly the same place down here just you know more or less okay then you're going to take your bottom flap so turn your piece back around take your bottom flap and you're just going to fold that up like the paper boats that children make that's all we're doing then depending on which way you want it folded you know because it's, if you see this one you've got the pieces um, the pockets here on the left hand side this one's on the right so you know up to you how you fold it you're just going to then fold your piece around in fact we'll do this to the left like that so just fold it down run it along the top like that and that's your piece now obviously you could you know fold this over to make it thicker paper you're going to end up with quite a small pocket which maybe will look disproportionate to the other pockets which is why I leave them you know why the ones that I've made so far I have left the full depth and tried to reinforce them then with lace or something afterwards but completely up to you um, you know how you want to do that so again I then like to just open it out again and just glue down you know these pieces you know not not worrying about it just roughly gluing them in glue this on like that and then take it round fold it and then again fold it in where you want it you know I mean you can see I've not paid any attention at all I've just folded it you know just anywhere kind of that you know anywhere at all that I thought you know may be suitable so you really don't have to overthink that at all just fold it in so again I'm going to trim off that bolt not so easy when I'm doing it on a uh, 
some right sided fish. It kind of um, threw me a little bit how to hold my scissors. Right, so then I'm going to glue down obviously this flap like that. Glue down my piece here. bin that piece of the overspill and then I'm going to fold this piece down again you know not overthinking it just roughly where you think you know the height of where you might like to to have that so that looks like a good sort of height just going to then glue that piece down And then again, you know, I just like to then just run a piece of glue, a line of glue, just in that opening, and then just seal it shut like that. So I just have a look. I mean, we're up to like 11 minutes. That's how fast these are to make, you know. And if you watch my channel a lot, you'll know, you know, I don't ever do anything complicated. If I'm doing it, it's dead easy. So, you know. Um, these are obviously you know an example of how dead easy everything is that I do so that's your piece and again if I just bring back that page that's how that would look on your page which again pocket there pocket there and a pocket there so if you wanted to now decorate them up let's let's decorate one and um, you know make it look pretty so just as I said that, I just spotted this this lilac flower here. So I couldn't resist but pull that in. So I'll just take that and then let's just see what I've got laying around here on my desk today. Well, I mean, it's the same as every other day because obviously I don't clear my desk, but I just mean, let's see what's, you know, accessible today rather than deeply buried that I actually can't really even get to. Because, uh, you know, that's quite a high possibility that I can't even get to things. So I'm going to tear off some doily. I don't know whether that will look good or not, but I could maybe have a bit of doily there. And then I've got some lace somewhere buried now under things. pretty isn't it so I might put the pocket uh, the the doily slightly over to the side like that you know and I mean I just think it's quite helpful to do these um, decorative pieces because obviously it's strengthening and reinforcing that um, you know that flap which otherwise is you know effectively just a single sheet of paper so you know that's why I think that's quite good to do I'm just going to trim this down so to get rid of that kind of header piece because I'm not so keen on that as you can hear I haven't managed to shake off saying kind of that's still there still still there still um you know still saying that right just having a look through a little rummage through any bits and bobs that I might have to the side just to see what else I could put on here I've got that little lilac um, ticket there so we could go for that maybe some little bits of pearl trim oh that's pretty isn't it right so I'm going to glue the fabric or you know the lace trim across the top Sorry, excuse my um, hands that I'm just really disgustingly using, but um, my wipe is quite wet at the moment, so, you know, I'm not sure how helpful that would be. So I thought I would just use my, my hand. I'm trying to not use my um, kitchen towel that I use normally because, um, you know, I'm aware that 
one or two people don't overly like the um, the thought of that. So, you know, trying to get out of the habit of using that. But obviously, if I haven't thought ahead enough to get a wipe out to um, have it dry to use, then it just means, you know, I haven't really got anything then handy to use. So I'm just going to put those little pearl trims there. Oops. Super pretty. Just have a look in my little jar of Martha Stewart butterflies and see whether I've got any in a colour that would go nicely with this um, with this paper. And that one's pink-ish, but it's kind of veering on um, a bit peach. Or maybe it's a bit peach to use. I'm not sure. Oh, what's that one in there? No, no, oh god, look at the mess I've made now everywhere, oh gosh, right, let's just pick those up, do we want those, oh well let's just have those anyway, so, um, well I don't know actually, now I've moved them, maybe it looks better without them. Oh, I'll just go for it. Just trying to be a bit um, adventurous, you know, and decisive. So actually, I'll have it like that and then just have a small one in inside it. So we double it up. Like that. Okay, how cute is that? So, you know, that's another decorated one. Completely different um, appearance to this one. Really, really, really cute. And as I say, you would just obviously use it like that. And like that. So really, really, really sweet. So I have got another couple which I've got ready-made here. So just drag them in. So I've got this one which again, I've just folded it, but I haven't actually glued it together yet. So because obviously this tutorial has not really taken very long, just going to, um, you know, make the most of that and just decorate up another one. So, you know, obviously feel free to flick off now if you've seen enough, but as, as always, I just can't stop myself. Once I get crafting, I'm, um, like on a roll then and I just you know can't help but do some more so that's that one just going to glue that flap down there yeah I just folded these up um, the other day you know when I first stumbled across this pocket but I hadn't actually glued them together so um, you know I just thought oh Perhaps we'll just decorate these up at the same time. So, you know, and then they'll be ready in my stash as well. So, it's all good. It's very muggy today. Right. Okay. So, that's that one. And glue that top flap down that's that piece and then just do this inside I mean as I say you could do this inside before you fold it over I don't know quite why I've started doing it this way you know but that's just how I've done it since I made the first one um, you know that's just how I did it so uh, that's just stuck with me now so there we go really fun pockets I really like these ones I think they're one of my favorites that that I've made so um right again we're just going to decorate this up so again I might just use some doily here because um you know that's a really good uh you know piece to strengthen this so again I'm just going to tear this down slightly 
like that. Pop that there. You know, it just seems like a really good, good size and a good way of reinforcing this. So, um, right, let me have a look and see what bits I've got here to the side. Just got some stamped images here. So obviously all this stuff is here from previous videos and um, I've just left it on the desk because actually just having a little selection of things to the side is really helpful. You know, because when I'm working blind and having to then look for things, um, you know, it's quite time consuming and obviously, you know, I might not know what it is that I'm looking for. Whereas actually just having it sat here I spot things and think, oh, that would work. You know, oh, that might be good. So, uh, yeah, it's proven quite useful to have it there. Right, got some pink lace, which we could use. What do you think? Not sure whether I like the pink lace or not. So, just leave that there for a moment and um, see what other laces that I've got here. <gasps> This gorgeous bright pink lace. Oh. Maybe that's a bit much. I do love it. I do love it. Mm, what do you think? Let me stand and look down on this. I mean, I guess it depends on the journal, but perhaps I'll just go for this pretty kind of baby pink instead. Flower here. I don't know whether I could use that. Mm, maybe not. Let me just bring that clock in. Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Kind of subtle and, um, you know, not quite so in your face as the bright pink, Oops, which I'm now dragging around the desk. So I'll just, just do that. So again, I will use the fabric blue. I'll just check which way up I'm sticking this. Oops. Like that. And then like that. that. Wet wipe is still quite wet so uh, I won't overdo it but I'll just use it a little bit. glue out of there and then we've got this piece here which we could pop that on some lace trim actually we could have it up there so let's just cut around that just cut that down a bit so that's quite nice isn't it might have it like that. Let me just have another rummage through my little bits and pieces that I've just got here to the side. See if I've got anything else in the pink. I have got that stamped definition of the word wonderful. So perhaps we could have that there. Now I'm thinking really I could do with inking these things up, but I'm not quite sure what colour I would actually ink them. Just have a look. I've got this... Um, salty ocean still here from one of my other videos so I don't know whether this is going to work you know so uh, I might be horrified and think oh my gosh what have I done you you may be horrified and think oh my gosh what has she done um but let's give it a try so just go around that very lightly you know I don't want to overdo it but just a little bit to bring that blue onto the pink Oh, that's quite pretty, isn't it? So I might do that around the clock as well. Just like that. Okay. So. Now I'm thinking that blue Martha Stewart butterfly, or actually we've got these turquoise ones, might be really nice. So let me just ink this up a little bit with that blue. 
Oh gosh, my hands are even more covered in ink now than they even were before. Right, so I'm just going to glue this down here. isn't it? quite like that butterfly kind of across there. Just going to put the word wonderful down here. And this paper, this is from my Mary Mary kit. Um, you know, Mary Mary quite contrary. Um, so obviously I haven't used any of the pieces that actually can, you know, match and complement this um, kit. So I'm using obviously here stamped images and things. Um, <coughs> for a different look so you know there are obviously an abundance of things that do actually match these papers but I just thought it would be fun to do some things with again just some rubbish just some desk ephemera sorry not rubbish I must stop using that word I just thought it would be fun to use some some desk ephemera instead of any of the coordinating pieces from the kit so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, looks really pretty, really cute. Let's just see if we want any bling because that just finishes everything off beautifully. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Oh, oh gosh, I've got hot glue all over me. Do we just want, I just want a three, I think. So I'm just going to trim that down. Like that. And then, oops grab hold of that like that and then just stick that down okay so that's that one so again I'm just going to grab that page in so that's what that would look like on a page so you know, we've obviously made this one from scratch. We haven't decorated it yet. And then these are three of the decorated pieces. So super quick, super easy. And um, yeah, hopefully quite a useful and versatile pocket there. So I hope you like them. And um, yeah, I'd love to see, you know, if you make any, I would love to see them. So thanks very much for watching and see you all again soon. Thanks then. Bye.